Hi. Hi everyone, it's Aaron here from Push Square, and in case you haven't already guessed, today is a very special video. Why? Because we're going to be unboxing none other than the Horizon Forbidden West Collector's Edition, which obviously released yesterday, by the time you're watching this, the same day that the game released worldwide. Yes, Horizon Forbidden West is finally here, and I haven't had a chance to jump into it myself yet, because I've been waiting for you guys to get here so I can unbox this behemoth for you right in front of your eyes. Before we dive in proper, I want to go ahead and tell you what you actually get in this edition. I'll run, I'll run you through the entire thing before unfurling it all. Um, so we get none other than obviously the game itself, a digital copy for the PlayStation 5 version. We also get the digital soundtrack as well as Volume 1 for the Sunhawk digital comic book. So obviously very excited about that. We also get an extra couple of bits and pieces for the photo mode, special poses, face paint. Uh, and then it, in, in terms of in-game items, we get the Apex Claw Strider Machine Strike piece. Whatever that is, we'll find out soon. Uh, resources pack, and then we get two outfits for Aloy, which I'm very excited about. So we get the Karja Behemoth Elite outfit, along with a short bow, as well as the Nora Thunder Elite outfit, and that one comes with a sling. But you're not going to be seeing any of those bits and pieces today, so specifically in terms of what's inside the box, well, I'm going to choose to leave that a bit of a surprise, uh, and let's dive straight on in. Okay, I just got done unboxing a sea of cardboard there, as you hopefully saw, but we finally uh, managed to wake our way through and you can obviously see the makings of the Tremor Tusk statue. And it's quite a heavy boy, as you can probably tell and imagine. I'm gonna pop that one out in a second, but first, obviously, lovely sort of Fibridden West background there for it to sit in, diorama style, which I'm a big fan of actually, because it makes presentation obviously a lot easier. But before we dive into the Tremor Tusk, just wanted to take a look. There's a little drawer underneath this thing, which you can hopefully see there. Oh, hello. So we do, in fact, I wasn't so sure about this. We do, in fact, have a steel bookcase, which I'm very happy about. But here's the funny thing. I'm not expecting there to be actually a physical disc in the thing. I believe it's a PlayStation 5 download code. This collector's edition is available on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, and depending on which one you get, you'll either be attributed a code for PS4 or PS5. But if you get the PS4 one, you can upgrade to a PlayStation 5 code. But hey, that's fine. I want to play this game in the most beautiful, shiniest light possible. Um, and our review obviously went up earlier this week, has me very excited to do that. So I'm more than happy with just a PlayStation 5 and this fancy steel bookcase. Next up, we obviously have the Horizon Forbidden West art book, uh, mini art book. I'm sure you'll get a full size version come out. Um, if not now, possibly sometime in the near future, once more people have had a chance to play the game. And I'm not gonna peek too much. I'll take a flick through a couple of beginning pages. There you go, there's Aloy swimming. I mean, you know, we all like a cheeky dip every now and then, especially when there's some robot machines that need killing. So lovely still bookcase, lovely art book. But now it's time for the main event. Okay, so I'm gonna have a go at opening this bad boy up. We're gonna get a full view, but I believe there is some assembly required. So you'll have to bear with me before I unveil the mighty Trevor Tusk in all of his full glory. Let's get started. Okay guys, and here we are, for the most part, 
It is the Tremor Tusk from Horizon Forbidden West, the collector's edition. So obviously you get this beautiful detailed painted statue to the left of me right here showing off all the battle worn armor that you're bound to you know shoot off with Aloy's arrows you got some lovely articulation a little bit in the right side uh, obviously his left leg is is firmly planted down on the snow there but you can adjust the the right arm just a little bit there and in addition to the tremor tusk itself you also get a little to scale I imagine Aloy figure which probably is just a little bit different to the one you're used to had you purchased the Horizon Zero Dawn Collector's Edition and just for comparison I do actually have that one here it's a little bit worse for wear I'll admit you know it's a couple of years ago since I picked up Zero Dawn and I have been displaying this one since then but just as a comparison obviously you can see just the the amount of size difference between the two especially when the collector's edition for Forbidden West is the only one I believe that you can actually get a statue in there's obviously the Regala edition where you get a slightly different version of the Tremor Tusk slightly different pose I believe um, but no you've got the standard edition of the game obviously then you've got the special edition and then it's only when you get to this collector's edition that you can actually obviously show something off and I really like the fact that Gorilla have done something different they haven't just done Aloy again instead they decided to showcase one of the newer creatures that you'll be battling in the game and rather appropriately um, the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that the tremor tusk here is missing two of his tusks because if you can believe it um, they should be clicking in into place I've actually got them right here um, but I, I tell you what, for the life of me guys, I just couldn't slot them in. And I was having a brief look online before obviously publishing this video. And um, just something to make you aware of, that might be a slight concern to you. A, a lot of people are having this issue where um, the sort of inserts of the tusks are molded to fit a certain almost sort of like puzzle piece into the side there. But for whatever reason, I was okay with the bottom two there, but for the top two, just can't do it so if I do want to eventually uh, display this one I think I'm gonna to have to just super glue these in there in the correct position and then hope for the best obviously it's still gonna be looking awesome got the lovely snowdrop background here but until then I'm just gonna pretend that Aloy has already shot off those tusks and this is all that is remaining Anyway guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this unboxing. It's been a while since we've had an unboxing on this channel, so I want to thank you for indulging me, because obviously Horizon Forbidden West is such a massive release early on this year in 2022 that you'll no doubt already be playing if you haven't started already. But as I said guys, thank you so much for watching. Do you plan on picking up the Horizon Forbidden West Collector's Edition? I think there is a few of them still floating out there, at least here in the UK anyway. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and consider subscribing to the Pushware YouTube channel for everything else PlayStation related. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.